are the common Vesper three-dimensional molecule shapes, and they have both names, linear, bent, trigonal planar, trigonal pyramid, and tetrahedral, and also the three-dimensional shapes. These are shown as the molecular views, or called the space-filling models. And they're based on how many bonds and lone pairs, so this is how many bonds in this column, and how many lone pairs there are on a central atom. So these two molecules would be examples of a linear shape due to just having one bond. So when you have two atoms bonded together, hydrogen and fluorine, there's only one bond. There is no central atom. Same example here. This is two atoms bonded together. There's only one single bond. There's no central atom. So both of these are just linear. This is the two-dimensional structure of well, the two-dimensional Lewis structure, H2O, and this is actually a linear shape. It's all, all these atoms, the hydrogen, the oxygen, and hydrogen, are all in one line as the two-dimensional shape. However, this has a central atom with two bonds and two lone pairs, and that is the recipe for that bent or V shape. So you can see that that water molecule that has H2O has two bonds and two lone pairs. That leads to the bent V shape. And this is that, what we're familiar with seeing, the water molecule with that oxygen. And then those two hydrogens, where they're closer together, this is an upside down V. This was the two-dimensional Lewis structure of methane, CH4. And the central atom, carbon, has four bonds to the central atom. So that is the recipe for the tetrahedral shape, that's this. And we see the four bonds with no lone pairs on the central atom, only four bonds. That's the tetrahedral shape, the tall pyramid, and that's that this molecular view of uh, the space filling model of CH4, methane. So this is the ammonia, this is the two-dimensional Lewis structure of ammonia, and the central atom, the nitrogen, has three bonds and one lone pair. That three bonds and one lone pair is the recipe for this the low pyramid called trigonal pyramid. And so three bonds and one lone pair are the trigonal pyramid. And this is NH3 ammonia. And that is the base of three, the low pyramid, compared to the tall pyramid that's tetrahedral. And that's ammonia NH3. This is the two-dimensional Lewis structure of CO2, carbon. And what you have here is a central atom, and there's a double bond on the right and a double bond on the left. This actually is a representative of two bonds. So no, this is not because it's a double bond. It's because a double bond in three-dimensional space really is just a single bond, because it's just one thick bond going to the same one atom. It's not going into two different directions. So this central atom, this carbon, is like having two bonds to a central atom. There are no lone pairs on the central atom. There are lone pairs on the outer atoms, but there are no lone pairs on this central carbon. So this is one bond on this side. That double bond counts as one bond, and the double bond on this left side counts as one bond. So this is two bonds to a central atom, bonds to and no lone pairs on the central atom. That's the linear shape, and that's what you see for CO2 carbon dioxide. This is the molecular view. It has all the atoms line in a line, and even though there's a double bond in there, it's not that those two bonds are going in two different directions. So we'll be looking at all of these Vesper shapes in this worksheet uh, to determine from the Lewis structure the Vesper shape, and so it's going to be a bunch of skills you've already learned, which is writing those structures and then determining the Vesper shape.